welcome back to my channel. Good morning, vlogsters. I am Sans Coffee. Um, cause I came in here and I wanted to start now. Like, duh, you're not even awake yet to have coffee. But, um, just wanted to talk about two things really quick. First, good morning. Um, we, uh, Jim goes back to work today. We had four very fun, productive, and heartfelt days where we just uh we did things around the house we bonded we fought we you know all the things that come along with a construction project right um we you know not fought but we argued and discussed and came together and you know and um and the other really quick thing that i just want to touch on was uh i wanted to thank everybody for all of their support on my last vlog when I sort of had an emotional breakdown. <laughs> um, I know I was just getting, having the guilt, um, and also missing my friend. I mean, to be sure, honest, I'm not going to cry this video because I, um, I have gotten all that out. Let's put it that way. Um, a couple of things that just were, uh, I'd like to address the comments that were, um, I, I know that people put a comment or a question and then people will read it and like it, but not everybody who reads it and likes it goes back and reads my response because if my response crossed them, like if I responded after they liked it or read it. So I thought I would just address them really quick. And this is not addressing haters or, cause I didn't feel like haters or whatever. I didn't feel that way. Um, in the beginning of 2018, we started um, keeping the business uh, expenses separate from the household expenses. And um, even even to the point where like, uh, as far as my pay is concerned and the Dollar Tree budgets and the, you know, supply budgets and whatever else we're doing, travel expenses. Um, one of the things, uh, first of all, I wanted to say, when I get emotional like that, um, and I do feel, oh, I told you guys before, I feel very comfortable talking to you, just like you are my friends that I've known for all of the years. Um, when I get emotional like that, it, I tend to, like, just, like, not organize my thoughts. That's what it is. I just speak from the heart off the cuff and I just um so I think that was a misunderstanding that um I couldn't afford the gas money to drive to Florida so I just wanted to clarify that really quick and it's really nothing like um really uh, again I'm not addressing anybody who's hating nobody's I just wanted to clarify <laughs> so I did save the money I did save the gas money to drive to Florida what I was saying about having her being so far away and the gas money being so expensive, and I thought that I mentioned this was if there was ever an emergency. So, um, for example, and I thought I was saying this as well, she had some health issues a few years ago and I was not making money then. Um, and I couldn't afford just the gas money to just drive there in an emergency. Um, what I was saying then is driving to Texas in an emergency is feasible because I have a uh, credit card that's for the gas stations that lead down to Texas. Um, the gas stations that I have the credit card for don't go to Florida all the way. So that's really just what I was trying to like, just say like if it was an emergency and I didn't have the cash or didn't have the money, then I couldn't emergency drive to Florida. The reason that I didn't drive to Florida to surprise her and the reason that it really stopped me from going this time was because I didn't feel well. And I thought I mentioned that I it's a it's a 16 actually it's a 17 hour driving time, which means it's probably like a, you know, I, I usually add an hour and a half. So uh, to first for a trip like that. So it probably would be like almost a 18 or 19, 19 hour trip. That's a long time for me to be in the car. Um, 
without staying over somewhere. Um, so that was the thing. I didn't feel well enough. I didn't feel confident in my health to be in the car that long by myself. And that's really what it all came down to. Um, Jimmy tried to get off from work. They're very short staffed. So him coming with me just wasn't an option. Um, there really wasn't anybody who could come with me. Um, that last minute note without, you know, with that last minute notice or whatever. Um, so I just wanted to clarify that. And the, the, uh, the other thing is... Um, oh, then people were like, well, stop spending money at the Dollar Tree and go visit your friend if you feel that bad about it. But again, the Dollar Tree expenditures is a work expense. I have a work budget for it. I can't use my work, uh, like say credit cards or whatever, or credit accounts for my personal use because that's fraud. Um, but no, I'm just saying, so I... They're different. Um, plus, we're not talking the same amount of money. So uh, a week ago or whatever, or two weeks ago, I spent like $200 at two Dollar Tree trips or three dollars. It was two two trips. Now I spent a hundred. Wait, I spent a hundred dollars because I spent like 50 and yeah, like a hundred dollars like two weeks ago. Um. I don't know what I was just going to say. I got caught up in the dates and I forgot exactly what I was going to say. That's bad when your memory goes. Um, hmm. I wonder what I was going to say. I'm really sorry about that. I don't remember. I totally just lost my train of thought. Train has left me at the platform. Me and my friend Donna did that. Mmm. Oh, that tastes like soap. Oh. Sorry. Oh, I do remember. Um, okay, so the trip, I, you know, I went to the Dollar Tree, two Dollar Trees, and I spent a total of like $120. It is way more money than $120 for me to drive from Missouri to Florida. Plus, I have to get home. So, yes, I could have not had content for my video for two weeks. Three weeks, a month, possibly, with that the, that content. Um, I had the supplies and stuff to DIY with um, for, for St. Patrick's Day and Easter and stuff. And I could have uh, saved the money to drive there. Though there, that, that thought is is. Uh, makes sense but because this is the business money and that is personal expenditure plus I that is does cost a lot more to get there but the thing that I was saying I didn't have the money to go was the only when I I didn't feel good the last minute really like the last few days I didn't feel well enough um the last minute options it was it's like a thousand dollars to fly from St. Louis to uh Florida. The other option I was looking at was to take the bus and the bus was cheaper and I could afford it, but it wouldn't get me there until like Friday, which defeated the purpose um, of getting there for her birthday. So um, we, we will see each other. Our uh, In lieu of having a 30 year reunion two years ago, our class decided to have a 50th birthday party and we'll be having that. So I'll be able to go to New York in June, which I'm excited about because I haven't been there since 2014. I've been in New York, so I miss I miss my sisters. Well, Janie is just here, but I miss Alicia. I didn't see her for since 2014. Mm. So anyhow, and that also, in case you're curious, that also is um, it's a little longer to drive to. Um, to New York 
but we have family in Ohio that we can often stay with if we just drive up to Ohio, so it breaks the trip in half. Um, that's another thing. So driving to Sharon, breaking the trip in half, staying at a hotel is another 50 or so dollars that adds to the expense and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, but if you're interested, I mean, not that I think I did do a budgeting video. I think I did talk to you guys in, in my budgeting video about, um, my Dollar Tree budget, but, um, since this is now a business that I get, uh, it's like a freelance, um, we get YouTubers get like a 1099. So it's like a, basically nothing's taken out of it. So you have to like be your own boss and make sure you pay into the system. Um, and all that stuff has to come off the top, you know, plus I pay Emily, plus I buy my supplies, plus, you know, the, the camera equipment and the all the things so not that you need him to know any of that but if you're interested in starting a business I guess it would be a, a good thing to know um, but anyway I am done rambling <laughs> I wanted to just again thank you for your love and support clarify a couple of those uh, misunderstandings in case anybody else had those misunderstandings and um, to let you know that I'm all I'm doing much better thank you I'm back on the extra bin and um, who knew it was going to take such a toll, you know? And I'm excited to share with you the closet makeover, kitchen makeover. Because um, I've decided like while we're doing the closet that I'm also going to redo a couple of other areas. And of course, we'll take you along and share everything with you because we love you. And that's what we do. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye. So once every couple of months, I take a shower, you know, shampoo and conditioner, and I don't put any product in my hair. I let it dry naturally. And then I go to sleep. <laughs> and because it's naturally curly, like I do put it in a ponytail holder, but because it's naturally wavy, I don't want to say curly. My sister's hair is curly, mine's wavy. Um, well, it's got curl. I think it's the fact that it's curly and wavy is considered wavy, not curly. But anyway, because it's naturally curly, it wants to, uh, it really does have a mind of its own. Like, see, it's like, it just does its own thing. What's that giant bald spot? <laughs> I also said that I was talking to her, and I don't know if this is true. If anybody else has thinning hair, I've, I've always found that the blondes in my family with thinning hair always look like they're thinning more. And I know the reason is, is because the spots that have like the individual thin strands, um, when they're closer to your scalp color, they look like they're, you know, your scalp. Like there's hair there. It just looks like a huge bald spot because the hair is so light there, but I don't know. And I'm trying that new, like, plastic twisty phone cord ponytail holder thing. I don't know. I like it. So far, so good. Let's see if it holds my hair up during the day. <laughs>